Hey everyone. So I'm a big fan of command line interfaces and there is one for Azure Databricks, which you can use to help manage all of the things you can do within your Databricks instance. And because of that, I want to do a series of videos that go over the Databricks CLI. And in this first video, I'll show how to install it and authenticate to your instance of Azure Databricks. So I'm here in my terminal here and I'm actually going to use Conda to create a new environment where I can install the CLI. So I'll do Conda create, give it a name, DB CLI, and I'm going to tell it to use Python version 3.6. So with that created, I'll do a source activate DB CLI so I can go into the new environment that I just created. Yep, so now I'm in it. To install the Databricks CLI, I used pip install Databricks CLI. There we go. So it's installed. Uh, don't worry about these errors here. I think that's related to some other packages that I've installed. So now that it's installed, I can just Type Databricks and they'll bring up the general help system here. And so to authenticate to it, I'll do Databricks configure. And easiest way is to use a, a token that you can generate within Databricks. So I'll do dash dash token. And the first thing it's going to ask is what my Databricks host is. So I go to my instance of Azure Databricks here, and the host is simply all this here and what it is is the HTTPS and the location where you created your instance of Azure Databricks that is your databricks.net so we'll take that paste it in and now it wants our token so in order to get a token I'll go over here go over to user settings and right here in the access tokens tab here I'll create generate new token and I'll say it's for the CLI. I'll keep the lifetime as 90 days, but you can change this if you want to. And I'll click generate. And now you have a token here and then you want to make sure you, you copy this because once you hit done here, you won't have access to view this token. You'd have to revoke and generate a new one. So I have that there. There we go. And we can verify that we have logged in here if we just uh, do let's see we just list our clusters real quick so we do database clusters and list you know we have two clusters here speech and azure and we can verify that's what we have speech and azure on here so so we know that we've authenticated correctly so that's real quick video on how to install the Databricks CLI and to authenticate to our instance of the Databricks CLI. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.